Yeah. All right. We're good. Everyone, we are live. Welcome to episode three of Big T Mowers. Uh, Bucky's hat is on, sunglasses are on, and we are ready to mow. Uh, just give me one second. I'm looking forward to retweet on Twitter, but we can, we can go ahead and get started. Let's go. Thursday night, y'all know what that means. We're firing up the mower. We're hitting the yards. This is what we do. Made 274 pounds last time. Not too shabby. And uh, let's let's get started. Four, $1,500 job. Holy shit. Now, here's what's going to happen. They're going to tell me I have to have an eco mower. Yep. Which is part of the reason we need to uh, upgrade our equipment. T, I'll be right back. You got to run the ship for a second. Someone's at my house. I got to drop something off. But we're ready. To, we're fired up. We're ready to go. We got some guests coming in. It's going to be a good stream. A lot of stuff going on right now. We've got our special edition 100th episode merch out 24 hours only. We got the t shirt and the sweatshirt. The sweatshirt's got that sick logo you see in the top right of your screen right now. I know. Avery, Dad. are you um, positive we're on Twitter? Yeah, should be. I'll check. I'm not seeing it. But, uh, Hold on. But in the meantime, y'all know what the fuck it is. And we're ready to go. Ready to mow, as they say. What do we got in the chat? What do we got in the chat? Did the new shirt ever drop? The new shirt is live right now, and you have... Six six more hours to get it. It's gone after today. If you don't get it today, you can't get it. It's a great shirt, comfort colors. And if we see you out, oh, this is a new yard. I've never mowed this one. Um, if we see you out wearing the shirt, you get it's some some cool. I don't know. Uh, that's that's up to Avery. But yeah, you have six more hours to get the shirt, boys. I'm excited. Sometimes sometimes on here you'll get the same yard over and over. I've never mowed this. This is uh, this is new territory. Let's do a ground check. Five items. Oh, we are lagging. This big ass yard. We go. You can't. You can't. I'm a gnome. I'm. I'm trying to do my job. Three. Is there another part of this yard? There's not. So, fellas, we gotta we gotta find these objects. Four, five. Let's get mowing. getting home from a, a long day of work and just getting on the, the weed whacker and the mower. This doesn't calm you. I don't know what will, folks. What's up, Big T? What is up, BC? How are we doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm as well as I can be. You're headed home from the office? I am, yeah, just making my way in traffic. Listen, that's that's the perfect time to hop in the stream and get a little mowing done. Oh, my God, we're chopping it up pretty good. Anybody else on or just you and me? I'm here, too. Avery's, Avery's back. Hey, I'm hey back. how you doing, man? I'm good. You look fresh to death. Oh, 
but yeah, yeah, big day today. Just kind of beating about. Just <clears throat> stopped at uh, baseball practice. It's tryout week. A lot of hard decisions. Yeah, I mean that outfit looks like you had you had some big meetings today. Yeah, we had a couple. Busy, really busy right now. Yeah, you got your big boy pants on. Busy's good. Yeah, busy's busy's what makes money. So we're we're doing good. How about you guys? How are you guys doing? I'm great. The stream the stream is new. We got we got the upgraded version now. So we could put our our own little spin on it. We got the background looking nice. We got the logo in there. Oh, it's sharp. Yeah, we got we got some background music playing. I don't know if you could hear that. They they I can. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it helps it helps soothe it a little bit better. People are going nuts in the chat for BC. As they should. Oh, we got the wee wacker going, dude. Right. No. And this is Would a big job, a right? Yeah, this is a huge ass yard. It's not good. Hey T, can we can we start with you kind of giving us a financial update, how we're doing by you know these weekly lawns and how we are on track for the uh, upgrading equipment? We're we're slowly but surely moving. You know we're doing as much as we can. See the problem is there's bigger jobs. Like I had one that was fifteen hundred bucks, but you need an eco mower to do them, which I can't yeah. acquire until I do more jobs. So it's a it's a catch twenty two of sorts. But we're we're grinding. Yeah, chicken and egg thing. I get it. Yeah. Exactly. Everything so on the on the on your guys' show, I wanted to say congratulations. Hundred episodes, unbelievable. We appreciate it's that. It's it's, and it was our two year. So it's a big deal. Yeah, it was our two year anniversary. Plus the hundredth episode, so it was a double whammy, and and we're excited about it. The merch is flying off the shelf. You still got six hours to buy it before you can't buy it anymore. Well, get on, they got to get on board now. They got to get they got to get the merch now. It's quality product. It's uh, it's it's super cool, and uh, it's a limited time, right? You're not, you're not going to be able to get it tomorrow, so you know, jump on board today, pick it up. Make that loved one happy at uh, at home with that special gift that'll show up in a couple of days, and uh, it'll be good for everybody. Yeah, couldn't agree more. It's a great shirt. Listen, I, I I won't I won't cap I won't lie to the people. Sometimes we come out with merch. It's not my favorite. This is this is a great shirt. It's a great shirt. The hoodie is yeah. sick. Shout out to I would, uh, not, I would not lie to you people. Yeah, shout out to Francis Barry. He's one of the designers who does the shirt stuff. He created that 100th logo that you see in the top right of your screen. That's on the hoodie. I, I, yeah, I agree with Big T. Some of the merch you put out is, is just okay. This one, I, I love everything about it. Um, um, Avery, while I've got you, I, I do get a hoodie, correct? Yes, you get a hoodie. Okay, okay, yep. good to know. Yep, yeah, everybody gets a hoodie. We'll probably send Dad Dog one his way as well. Hey man, that'd be fantastic. I'll buy it. It's not a problem. I'm just <laughs> trying to support the cause. You already bought mower shirts. We gotta get you some we gotta comp something for being on these streams with us. Yeah, no, yeah, no we'll pay I, you. Yep. No, 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 no. Listen, I I I appreciate that you know my little mad dog is gainfully employed by Barstool. It's awesome. Got her Love. you got her off the BC payroll. That's a big thing. <laughs> yeah. BC household. You feel like you're in debt? So I've got one more on the payroll, right? Exactly. He's up at BC. Shout out to Boogie Ray. He's got his Big T mower shirt on, repping the Big T mowers in Iowa. That's, that boy, listen, that is, that's why we're here. That's why we do this for people like you. Man of the people. That's why right I'm there. here cutting grass. I think we need to, and I think we need to ramp up the music though. I think we're going to go with the, with the rock music that they provide us with. We're going to get going. Bump it up a little bit. I kind of like that we can add music to this now. I didn't have time to, I didn't know that we could use music, so I didn't have time to in install like custom music, but we're going to get Aryan songs in here. Stuff that won't get us banned, but.
Michael Manichi, how we doing? Now Long we time. did get <laughs> a we, we got a half-hearted verbal confirmation from a, from a PFT commenter that he would be here. Um, well, I, I don't know that I believe him. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not so sure. I guess we'll see. I guess that this this is the test of how much he supports the brand. Yep. So you guys had something else pretty big happen. It sounds like the, the bar stool deal was completed and. Penn Gaming is is now the the owner. How do you guys feel about that? What a professional segue and question from BC. Would you expect anything less? No, I don't. <laughs> no, it's 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 exciting. It's exciting for the company. Um, I think it only opens up more avenues for everybody. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it affects me all too much. So I, I didn't get rich. So <laughs> that's great. It's great to see guys, you know, that, uh, that start something kind of be able to capitalize and, and stick around and still be proud of what they're doing and, and the product that they're putting out. So it doesn't happen a lot. Um, I think what bar school is, did and is doing is, is pretty special in that in that regard. BC, what are some what are some current events on your mind? Current events on my mind, um, you know, I think that uh, the stock market right now is is making my eyes bleed a little bit. Um, that's one of the big uh, state of the states. Um, I can't figure it out. I can't figure out where lending's going. I can't figure out where interest rates are going. That's a, that's a big one. Scary. Um, but I'll tell you the one thing that that's kind of boring. The one thing that I'm getting a little bit excited for is a little March madness. Love it. Yeah. March madness is going to be sick. I'm actually trying to get the, uh, working on getting the crew down there. Cause it's in Houston and Arian's down in Houston. So I'm working on trying to get the crew to go down there do a little golf action working on it. a little, wow. little inside macro dosing tidbit i was working on today could happen wow, that'd, be, that'd be cool yeah. yeah trying to get the guys more involved it's more fun when we do trips and we actually get a lot of good content so yeah i i'll tell you this year with basketball i'm not like a huge basketball fan that i follow it like every night but it it feels to me like there's a lot of parity this year, like more than normal. And like, there could be some really good upsets, you know, the early rounds and stuff. And I really think that that is, is what makes March man is magical, right? It's, that's the fun ones. You hit the underdog bet, you know, on the money line and everybody's going crazy. I think that's, that's the stuff that's sexy. Yeah. I, I am not a big fan of basketball at all but march madness i'm doing the i'm doing the brackets i'm betting on games that's when it's fun yeah that's first thursday first round games going bananas everywhere yeah sports bar yeah it's It's great i think i think tennessee this year perfectly embodies college basketball as a whole because they're pretty good but they also kind of really suck and i think that's most teams except like three yeah. One of whom one of whom aids and abets murderers. So BC, you got any you got any picks this year? You got any teams you like going in? I don't. Like I I, I think that um, I don't I, I will make this um, statement. I'll make this uh, pledge. I do not believe that a number one seed will win it this year. I think yeah, I, gonna be, I, I, I think can go more with that. Upset, more upsets this year than any year in the past. Um, you know, I think that uh, you could have a 3-4 seed win it this year. Most I'll tell y'all, that. three or a four. Uh, yeah. Kansas was a one or two last year. 
uh, Carolina the year before that was lower than a four, I think. Really? Carolina did did win it two years ago, right? I forget. Uh, let me see. Now I'm blanking. No, two years ago was Baylor, who was a one seed, I think. Yep. It, it was it's Kansas last year, Baylor the year before. Year before that was Virginia. Then Villanova. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say their seeds though. Virginia was a one also. Oh here uh here we go. Now I can see. Um Kansas was a one last year. The year before, Baylor was a one. The last five has been a one seed. Yeah. 2016 was the was a two seed Villanova. 2014 was a seven seed Connecticut. UConn. I'll tell y'all who I, I recently placed a future on on the Barstool Sportsbook, and I love. They're going to be like a six, maybe a seven. It's NC State. Their guards are insane. They they just they just put the ball in the basket. They have a, a big in DJ Burns. If y'all don't watch DJ Burns, he resembles me in body type. He is a massive human being, and he just he just he's awesome. He actually started at Tennessee. Shout out, um, shout out the Wolf Pack. And I I'm big on the pack. Yeah, and and BC is saying it that it's due this year. It's due for a one seed to lose. Or do yeah I, <clears throat> I think it's just an up i mean there's so much parity um and i think the transfer portal is is really gonna make college basketball um even more of a toss-up is in years to come right because guys don't have to sit out years it's going to be the wild west and and you're going to see you know three four you get two three guys that impact the team. They get the right coach. They can draw guys in, and you're going to have, you know, teams that didn't make the the tournament the year before be in the Final Four with the the transfer portal now. Well said. You said it better than I could. I'm not, like I said, not a huge basketball guy. I'm sure a lot of people agree with that. Someone asked if Big T has received a refund from the NJ Pack. Somebody well, asked about NJ Pack. Yeah, if you received a refund. Nope, but but as I said on the show, just the fact that I know that uh, they know they fucked up is enough for me. That's good. Um, let's see. Let's, let's get some questions in the chat. 115 people in the stream right now. Let's get the chat going. We'll answer plenty of questions. Get the chat, get the chat, get the chat. Shout out all the people buying our merch, man. I got a ton of DMs today. I'm going to go through them for the giveaway um, soon. Because I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until Arian flies in, which is in two weeks. And we're all going to sign that, that picture, that sketch. Big T, when's PFT going to let you use the company card to get that DLC pack? Um, so I bought it, actually. The problem is you can't. It's, uh, it's what I feared, and I can't do the same career mode. Gotcha. You, on can't, there. you can't earn. I was planning on doing it tonight. Um, we can do it one time. It just won't count toward this. I think it'll have to be its own individual stream. Or like an yeah. extra stream. I don't know why I just kind of went off script there and uh, made this chaotic. Also, I'm blowing grass everywhere. You have to clean that but up. I believe it's just one fine for the whole thing, so it's not a big deal. You can't like clean that up. It's automatically. I can't. I can. I'm not going to. Let's see. Uh, who's our dream guest on the pod? That's a good question. I haven't really thought about it. Uh, Peyton Manning. That's a good one. 
we have some really good ones coming up within the next couple of months. Um, Avery booked like four different guests today that are all pretty solid. Yeah. One of them, uh, one of them is next month. He used to be on SNL, a pretty big one. Um, trying to think, I'm trying to think with, without spilling it. Uh, that one would probably give it away. Yeah, no. Next week we got a cool one. Next week, um, next week it's like pretty recent in the news because there's a documentary coming out about it. Um, should be really good. Excited for that. Let's see what else we got here. I don't even know what next week's is. I sent in the chat. Sometimes you guys don't even look. Maybe I, I, I also text. told you guys before the episode. Yeah, probably. Uh, Big T in full badass mode right now. Hell yeah. Who's taking the cup this year? Boston just made a pretty good trade, so they might. Um, I always like the Rangers, obviously. I'd like to think that if they add Patrick Kane, they'll be able to beat anybody. Um, NBA champ, I don't have the answer for that, T. I just saw a good question in the chat from uh, the boy Grit Knox. If I could mow any symbol in center field at Lindsey Nelson Stadium, what would it be? And it's actually already in center field at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. It's in the turf. It's the TriStar. I love it. It's such a clean look. Uh, it's perfect for – center field it's ut's baseball stadium that looks awesome so that's what i'm about power team looks how, do feel, too. how do you feel about that coach down there how do i feel about what tennessee's baseball coach um well we lost two games in the opening weekend uh yeah, and it took yep. us until till april 12th last season to lose our second game so uh a bit of a bit of a slow start but we're I mean, we're really good. They'll be right there at the end of the season. I'm not concerned about it. For sure. Excellent team, without a doubt. But, like, he's a little bit of a brash guy, a little bit of a confrontational guy. Are you uh, are you with him or are you against him? Vitello? Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's the best. I mean, he – we were – dog shit at baseball when he got there. We were worst in the SEC by far. And, I mean, he turned us into a, a, a power. Yeah. So, and he, I mean, I, I love him. I absolutely love him. When he got tossed last year and then was given, like, hugs out for a dollar or something to raise money for charity, got suspended. Yeah, he's done that a couple times. He had the lemonade stand, and then he – uh one time he bumped an umpire and got thrown out of the game, and so he he gave out chest bumps on the like the student walkway. Yeah, that's he's, the one he's I'm a, talking about. Yeah, yeah, he's he's had a couple. One he got he he was suspended a game, and uh, set up a lemonade stand outside the stadium. He's he's an awesome dude. That's awesome. Um, did Big T and Arian make up after the argument on the show? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could probably answer for that at that forum. We don't ever really have any serious, like, arguments that would like mess up our friendship. So that <laughs> that got more contentious than I anticipated. But yeah, it was it was fine. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I don't think. I mean, I, honestly, like after all that like i mean it's basically been reiterated like a thousand times on our show so uh, we kept doing the show i mean like the the draft day talk which i thought was funny was like after that so yeah yeah it's it's always nothing it's, uh, i'd love to get people's thoughts on Big Ten baseball. I go to Indiana, and I think we're pretty solid. We just played a three-gamer at Auburn and won the last game 11-2. I actually watched a game of that series because I had Auburn on opening day. Uh, Indiana looked pretty good. They they hung in there for a while. Um, I don't watch a lot of Big Ten baseball because uh, you know, an SEC guy, but uh, the game I watched, they look solid. Yeah, I think Big Ten baseball is um, 
mediocre, quite frankly. Um, you know, Michigan had a run a couple of years ago where they went to uh, Omaha, you know, got in the uh, almost beat Vandy final game. Yeah. And, um, you know, they lost their coaches. Bakic went to Clemson and, um, you know, jumped on the ACC, you know, chain as, uh, as quick as he could. Uh, Ohio State, uh, not great. Um, they just got a new coach uh, from TCU, and uh, they're trying to build a program there, but they got a long way to go to compete with the ACC and SEC teams. Um, it's, it's tough to get Northern teams that are, are really good um, baseball powerhouses because, you know, the talent is in Texas and Arizona and California and Florida. And those guys, they want to stay where it's warm. They don't want to go to uh, cold weather states and stuff. Uh, let's One sec. Um, it's not a good one. Question. Oh, favorite Billy is it? I like that question. I mean, entertaining clients. Yeah, entertaining clients. I I do like when he like messes up words. Like he like he kept calling uh, coo coop. It's always funny when he when he just keeps going and he like he doesn't even correct himself. He just that's how he uh, responds. Oh, here we go. You guys ready for this one? Boom. What's up, Dad Dog? Who we got? PFT. PFT. Oh. How's it going? Hey, PFT. How you doing, buddy? Doing great. Doing great. Where are we at with this uh, with this yard work here, Big T? Where are we at? What? Where are we at with the yard work? Uh, we are twenty seven point four percent complete. That's that's good. Making some good progress. Big lawn tonight. Really big lawn. Important client. Yeah, this is this is a big one. This is a, T. How much was it? Like fifteen hundred to mow this lawn? No, I couldn't do the fifteen hundred one because we don't have an eco mower. Uh, I guess Democrats live at that house, but this one was like five hundred. I think. <laughs> Democrats live at that house. This hey, PFT, so I saw a couple of your uh, your uh, videos from you playing golf. Are you getting in shape for the Barstool Open at Catawba? When is that? I might have to play in it. I don't know if my swing's going to be ready. It's a work in progress right now, so I'm I'm improving. But I, when I say I'm improving, I'm like starting from absolutely nothing. So listen, my, this is my, ju judgment free zone here. We're good. Yeah, my, my goal is to be able to break 140 pretty soon. I'm on the quest for double par. And I'm told by people that know golf that I've got a, a great backswing. So if golf was just about the backswing, I would basically be a professional. Uh, but then, you know, there's another half of the swing that I have to master yet. And I, I still have not done that. But I have been practicing. I'm going to play some, uh, some indoor golf tomorrow. I think Hank and I are going to hit the simulators. So maybe I might have to go up to Catawba and play in that. Yeah, the bar still open at uh, at Catawba. It's going to be fun. We'll have some chili dogs. We'll have a couple cocktails. It'll be a good time. Got Are you going to play in it? Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah, I'm the host. I'm like the Tiger Woods of uh, the, the bar still open at Catawba. Right at the Genesis Open last week. It, he's shaking hands and giving out trophies. That'll be my role. I like I won't it. Be, I won't be competitive, but. Uh, but I will, uh, I will host a very good event. Okay. Well, I might be in. When is it again? I don't think we've got a firm date on it yet. I think that uh, uh, Avery and Big T are trying to get your guys' schedules put together. But, you know, summertime, you know, maybe July, August. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. My swing should be good by then. My oh, goal 100%. is – my my goal, first of all, I'm I'm trying to break 140, and then once I do that, I'll I'll be, I think I can break 100 by the end of the year. It's the quest to break 100. I mean, if if there's ever been a, a T-shirt that needs to be made, it's right there. Well, uh, Trent, I think did it first. Trent 
did break 100. Now he's trying to break 90. But I'm just, you know what? Here's what I really want. I want to just be good at, be good enough at golf where it's fun to play. And it's not just like completely frustrating. I get it. See, I've never reached that level. Got to practice. Got to hit the range. I've got Max Home is my swing coach, so uh, he's he's been giving me some pieces of good advice. I think uh, with any luck, I'll be able to to break through to that next level in um, in a couple months. Here. What, what score would you have to get to for you to say playing golf is fun? I think around in the hundred ish neighborhood. Oh, my, my number's way lower than that. Yeah, I, my expectations for myself are extremely low. But I, golf is I, if, one of those sports where, like, if you don't grow up playing it, then you're at a, a severe disadvantage. So I'm I'm just now starting to get into it. and uh, I think I'd have to get to, like, mid to low 80s before I'd be like, this is enjoyable. And even sometimes people that get to that level, like Jeff DeLo used to be a scratch golfer, and playing with him, he just – he dog cusses himself every single time he hits a drive. And it usually lands in the fairway, like 260. And he's just like, oh, I can't, but this is brutal. What a brutal shot. I was in his group, the first group, when we played mini golf. And I was like leading after the first round. And Jeff was just uh, every shot. He was like, this is terrible. I fucking suck at this, that, and the other. I'm like, you are tied for the lead. Like, you yeah. are doing amazing. And he won. Like, that's Jeff. PFT thoughts on the trade? I don't know if you saw it. I did see it. Uh, I mean, I'm always going to have a soft spot for Dmitry Orlov. He was part of that 2018, big part of that that title run. Um, great defenseman. He's probably lost. What do you say in hockey? Has he lost a step or two, or is, is it like a stride or two? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you he's, can say both. Yeah, he's lost a step or two, but he's still pretty good. Um, it's one of those things where I'm going to be rooting for him. It sucks that he's going to the Bruins and. The Bruins are awesome, and they're probably going to win a Stanley Cup. Good for Dimitri, but then I just – Boston's had enough success, you know? Amen. I think that I, I, I'm, I'm, I have my sources with the Rangers, and I think we're very close to Patrick Kane to the Rangers, like very, very close. There was a rumor that he was going to go to the Leafs, right? Yes, so he has a limited no move where he gets to decide basically where he goes and kind of handcuffs the uh, the Blackhawks. But right now, what I'm hearing is that like it's 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 basically at the finish line. And now uh, the New York Rangers have uh, sat two players tonight for roster management. Okay, Avery's so, working the phones. Yeah, I, I actually am right now. Um, I've never heard a team say roster management reason before, and I'm working. I'm working the phones right now. That's that's kind of an NBA term, load management, or at least for for the Suns of the bubble, it was. So basically, so basically, there's a lot of hoops and boundaries because the Rangers don't have a lot of cap room. They need to waive a player by Sunday, which would be the guy, one of the guys they sat decision, and then they plan on trading the other guy. So it's it seems like seems like that's what's about to happen i I, i'm just addicted to going all in on the leafs i did it last year going to do it again it's just they got to win at some point right the rangers no the leafs this can't last forever they have to get past the uh they have to get past the deep the first round oh shout out we got donation john finnegan two dollars i'm donating for big t's rib guy take Oh, somebody pointed out to me on Twitter that uh, Dragonfly Jones, you guys know him, very funny guy on Twitter. Yeah. He, he was talking about the ribs thing, and he brought up a point. I don't think that we discussed it on our podcast, but he was pointing out that maybe the worst part about this situation, ordering ribs in the morning at an airport, is that those ribs were cooked in Europe. They're European ribs, European airport ribs. So I can't Great imagine point. that that would be tasty. No. Uh, big team. When you guys come for the Barstool Open at Catawba, I'm sure there's a couple Barstool Opens, but the one at Catawba, we'll have ribs on the old Traeger. Shout out to Traeger. Um, big rib guy. Heavy sauce. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll we'll eat pretty strong. I, be no, no ribs on planes, though. I, uh, I love making ribs. 
it might be my favorite food to make and I haven't done it in years, but it's a whole process. You brine them overnight. You know, what really gets me when I'm making ribs is when you have to like remove that membrane from the back of it. Yeah. I'm really bad at that. I always screw that one up big time. Uh, but I like to finish them. I like to cook them in the oven for a really long time, low and slow. And then I take them out and I put the sauce on and then you finish them on the grill. So the sauce gets a little bit of that char. Caramelized. Yeah, a little sticky. A little, yeah. Uh, Big T, got a question for you about, about the mowing business here. Have you ever like really fucked up someone's lawn? Yes. Luckily, um, most of the fines you incur are minimal. So you can fuck up some flowers and shit like that. And you won't, no, nothing bad really happens. I spray grass all over people's driveways and shit, never pick it up. Cause you only get fined like $5 who cares. Yeah. They can do it themselves. Yeah. Make it the neighbor's problem. <laughs> Oh, they got a well in this yard? Big T, you, you like this. We had, some, Sorry, guys, uh, phones. we had some Tennessee football talk on part of my take coming out tomorrow. And uh, I, I gave my full endorsement of Joe Milton first overall pick after next year. Just purely just because he threw an orange 120 yards. That's Listen, all I need to see. if Will Levis can go top five, that Joe Milton is way better than him. Joe Milton has all the attributes Will Levis has, but better, and and he's actually good on the field. Okay, I, I don't need like a breakdown of his play. I don't need to have, get into the details. The man threw an orange 120 <laughs> yards. That's all I need to know. That's a it. A creep. Yeah, I'm always going to love him for that. What, a, what an absurd thing to do. He's the goat. Every time, uh, uh, what's the combine? Two weeks is the yeah, two weeks. Two weeks, or wait, no, next week, right? Yeah, it's next week. Yeah, not this weekend, but a week from this weekend, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go up to it, gonna eat a steak at Prime 47 Steakhouse, the uh, the annual tradition, and uh, it should be a fun time. I think we're gonna bring Stephen Che this year because he's a draft freak, and so he's I, I told him today that we were gonna be interviewing Adam Schefter. And Stephen Chase's jaw hit the floor. I, I could have said that we we're going to interview the president, any president, and he would have had a much more subdued reaction to find out that we we're going to interview Adam Shepard. You guys should have your own combine, the Barstool Combine. We did that. We did that, uh, did uh, I want to say like five years ago, six years ago. Sorry, Back when we were you. like a smaller company. So I think only maybe 25 or 30 people competed in it. And yeah. Todd McShay came out. And uh, he helped to grade it. So we did the 40 yard dash, bench press, vertical leap. It was very funny on the vertical leap part. Coley has vertigo, so he can't look up. And when you're doing the vertical leap, you have to jump up and hit those little, you know, plastic rods in the air. Yeah. And Coley couldn't look up because he would get too dizzy. And so he had to like look straight down. He completely missed uh, trying to hit the flags. It was very funny. Did anybody break? the five second mark for the 40 there might have been one or two i think francis did he's pretty quick oh, um pretty yeah he i mean he played lacrosse in college so he's he's a good athlete but no the, the 40 was probably our, our worst our worst event collectively as a group we're we're not exactly a fast company <laughs> what about the bench press bench press i think I'm trying to remember who got the best grade overall in the in the bench press. Um, that might have been Francis too. He's just clearly the best athlete that we had at the time. I think I came in third in the bench press. Not to brag, it's just a fact. You asked about it, so I figured I'd share that. Listen, I I, I would bet that you were in there, I and mean, you look like you're pretty put together still. You can put put up a couple pounds. I'm just kind of fat. I just I just wear my fat well sometimes. I, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's going to happen in like the next hour, within the next hour. Kane to the Rangers. Are you, yeah. are you reporting? I, per my trusted source, it's like at the finish line. You report it. Say you're reporting it. 
I can't, I can't yet. I can't. Is that the finish line? It's barring it's something, uh, barring, barring a material change. Yeah, barring something crazy. Yeah. I. Yeah. Look, I've literally had the senior thing. source inside the New York Rangers. I've I've had this fat head on my wall since maybe I was about fourteen. I've been manifesting it my entire life. Good, speak it into existence. I, I have been. I've been I've been hearing things all week that they've been trying to work it out. And I think uh him scoring two goals and one assist was the last straw last night. All right, well, I trust you and I trust you so much. I'm gonna put a future on the on the Rangers right now. You did it last year and I did. I, I hope you made some money because I did. Well no, I'm saying like if you hedged, that's the thing, like Honestly, hockey is one of the best sports. Like, if you if you pick like a couple like the teams that you think are gonna make the playoffs early in the year, and then they make it, like you could hedge the whole way through and make a good amount of man, a good amount of money. Okay, I'm I'm locking in plus thirteen hundred. I expect that that will go up once they get Patrick. Once the deal becomes official, not just from Avery, locked in plus thirteen hundred. PFT, I told these guys this earlier. Uh, the future for the NCAA tournament, NC State. Oh, okay. I got I got UCLA. Okay. I mean, the, they're going to be a two seed. So, like, but NC State's going to be like a six, and they're going to the final four. Okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I, I actually got to run, guys. I got a, a call that I got to hop on, but I want to jump on and say hi to that. All right. All right, too. Hollywood. Hey, good okay. seeing you. Good talking to you, buddy. Yeah, good good seeing you, Dad Dog. Big T, Moat Straight. Avery, thanks for the tip. Of course. Glad, glad I could be of service. All right. Love you guys. Yeah. Take care. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Credit to him. I didn't know if he was showing up. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you could visibly see it, but I'm starting to shake a little bit because, <laughs> I mean, this is – this is special to me. This is, this is something that could change everything. When was the last time the Rangers won the Cup? 94. Oof. I was not alive, brother. Oh, God. You were not alive in 94. Wow. Nope. 25. I was, I was finishing up my uh, first senior year in college. That's nice. I had two of them. When were, when were you born, Dad Dog? 72. Okay, yeah, my dad was born in 67. My dad was 25. when the, My dad was my age when the Rangers won the Cup in 94. The stripes are looking immaculate. I mean, they're, they're a little bit wavy for me because I'm not seeing straight right now. But... uh See, this might be your best yard yet. Obviously, there's some spray going on. Yeah, uh, that that looks worse than I anticipated. Also, a lot of people um, upset in the comments about lines. Listen, we're mowing grass in a video game, y'all. Okay, it's not that deep. It's really not. Uh, It'll be okay. Nice. So, Big T. Who's the top combine guy for uh, Tennessee next week? Who's going to make the splash? You mean the, the combine coming up like next week? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Byron Young, defensive end. He's like day two guy right now. He's going to yeah. put up numbers. Darno Wright, also offensive lineman. Gotcha. But both could, could sneak into like 31, 32 in the first round. Right, actually, I think wow. Wright's being projected higher than that, but I think Byron Yell could sneak into the first round. And talk to me about your quarterback, Hooker. Is is he on the mend? How's he doing? Oh, I mean, he's he, he'll be fine. He's the goat. I I am I have never been more confident that someone will be successful than Hendon Hooker. He's the goat. Also, writes scripture books for children, unlike some other schools where you know. Maybe a little bang bang, little cover up. 
our, our quarterback writes scripture books. Wow. Oh. Man for others. Huh? He's a man for others. Exactly. John Finnegan, another donation. I'll pop this one up. Thank you, John. T, if there was a Biden yard sign on the lawn, would you mow it? Uh, yeah, their money spends the same, pal. <laughs> Democrats need their grass cut, too. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Money, money talks. It's funny, like, I knew I knew about Tarasenko, like, an hour before it was released, and I kind of put, like, a teaser on Twitter. But it didn't, it didn't get me like this. Like, this is... This is like this. This will be life changing. This is Christmas come early. Yeah, yeah. This will be. Go big. Out, do, you, do you go out and get your jer- your cane jersey tomorrow? I mean, is it an automatic? So, I'm not a, I'm not a big jersey guy. I have like a ton, but I, I don't really buy them anymore. But I did promise my brother and my two cousins that I would get cane jerseys. Like if we got him, <laughs> and I was using that as like a just like a a, pray, a prayer to the gods. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to buy a ton of jerseys if this happens. But uh, if I if I told you 2 weeks ago you could have either Tarasenko or Patrick Kane, which one would you have picked? Um Kane, man. Really? Yeah, you know what? As as much as I love Vlad and it's great to have him. He's he's been phenomenal. Uh 4 points in 6 games. Just, just have an eighty-eight in, in a Ranger jersey in the in those American flag colors. Just, just a guy yeah. that, just a guy that I've looked up to my entire life playing hockey. Like, it's a, it's a no-brainer, my friend. And him, him, him with Panarin was something special. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see what's happening. We'll see what's happening. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on a text. Now Kane's a little bit older though, right? So he's not a long-term guy for you. He's a kind of a rental. Yeah, it would be more of a reassessment at the end of the season. And you know, they're talking about his lingering injury or whatever. They mentioned his lingering injury and then he scored 7 goals in 4 games and now could be headed to New York. It's very rare you see a team go with 11 forwards and 7 D around the trade deadline if they don't have something planned. So, Kane at the Garden, bro, going to be a movie. If you don't think I'll be at that fucking game. I think I think you need to get a tattoo. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think you need I think you need to will this into existence and and pledge a little part of your body to Kane in 88 in the red, white and blue. On your body right now. Like, if you really want it, I think you'd commit to it. A little one. It doesn't have to be a monster shoulder piece, but maybe a little something on the the upper thigh. I don't know. A little 88. Yeah. Um, BC, I got to tell you, I don't know if you listened to the show today or not, but you had a move yesterday that's uh, one of my favorites I've seen in a long time. Uh, What's that? that? That there was a special guest coming on. And a lot of people guessed you, and you retweeted every single one of them, and it wasn't even you. I, I love that. I was hey, listen, I like that people mention me. I just like oh, the, I uh, loved it. Part of the crew, yeah, that was fun. I talked to I talked to Madeline last night, and she's like, you know, "What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun." Near I do have. Finish to, line. I, do, I I've gotten some unique uh, messages from people since I started hanging out with you guys. I got I do have to tell you that. You you were actually mentioned on the uh, on the podcast. I forget why. Who oh, was that? oh, oh, because oh, so we said that we were going to have a special guest on the show, and you were retweeting them all. Did you listen to a word I just said? <laughs> I, thought, wait, T, T, 
I mean, I mean, c- come on. Is that verbatim? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I mean, couldn't have been, couldn't have been more spot on. You get, He's you got gotta, Kane on the mind. Yeah, you got to understand that I'm. <laughs> He's working the phones. You got, you got to understand that I'm. My, my heart might be. If I had a whoop on right now, I think I'd be dead. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting on a text. Trade official? Not yet. Not yet. When are we, are, are we thinking like this? This could break tonight. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Like, can you imagine the big team mowers getting the scoop? Just say it, dude. Just say it, so we have it. No, I can't. I can't. I, I can't. We could break the biggest trade in the NHL on big team mowers. I can't. I can't. Come on, it's, do it. Not, it's gonna it's feel not, good. Just make it feel good. It's not done yet. If I had a text on my phone that said it was done, I would say it. All right, listen, listen. Give yourself an out. S- s- just repeat after me. Barring an unforeseen material change, Patrick Kane will be traded to the New York Rangers for a package TBD. Just say that so we have the clip. Barring an unforeseen change, Patrick Kane will be a New York Ranger. The return is TBD. Let's go. There we go. It's on Big Team Mowers. You, you fine folks heard it here first. It's unbelievable. We broke that shit. Yep, it's it's close. It's, it's very very close. Spitting chicklets. Did you guys watch the golf last weekend? That scoop. Uh, yes, great golf. Great golf. I'll tell you, there's a lot of likable guys right now out there. Who do you got? Give me some names. I, I'll tell you, like, well, I think PFT brought him up. I think he might be buddies with them, but I think Max Homa is a, a really likable guy. He was grinding away on Sunday. Um, you know, didn't put it together. I'm not a huge John Rom fan, but, you know, likable enough. Um but Roy McElroy, uh, Justin Thomas, I mean, those guys are, are really playing you know, really good golf right now. Cantley. Um, it was fun. It was fun Saturday, Sunday to watch it. John Rahm's iron game is insane, and his action is crazy. Like, I don't know how he swings a club like that, but. He his wrist power. is all bowed over. Yeah. Yeah. At the I top. Saw, I saw a stat that he's, based on his winnings this season, Averaging seven thousand dollars a shot. Yeah, yeah. He's won just under ten million. Shout out Josh B. Two dollar donation. Big T needs to buy Farm Simulator ASAP. Ooh, the Farm Simulator. So I've seen that. Uh, I've I've seen the list of like every simulator that exists now, and that it looks pretty fun. Um, we might we might run a, a big T farm at some point. Pressure washing's next. Whenever we get sick of mowing, we're moving to pressure washing. I think we might buy a, a pressure washer at the old Catawba house this spring. You have to. Hell yes. Knock and you, down and you a couple film it. webs. Yeah. No, my favorite is when people pressure walk their sidewalk pressure wash their sidewalk when it's like all green and like mossy and then they hit that thing and it's just like oh yeah i've watched a couple tiktok videos like that because i can't sleep oh, God. all right yeah oh you're a tiktok guy pc oh it's a rabbit hole for me like you know like before I go to bed or like when I wake up in the morning, you know, like just kind of getting your day going. I am a giant, like I don't do anything with it personally. I think you guys have all seen my uh, my Twitter videos with Cooking with Conroy. Did you guys see the Flapjack, the Friday Night Flapjack one? I did. I did. See, see, I, uh, 
I watched that video, and I was thoroughly impressed that you didn't they didn't burn that. Yeah, they busted out a couple flapjacks. I'm a three flapjack guy. Um, I love but, that uh, you call them flapjacks. Yeah, that's a that's another big thing. Oh yeah, a lot of butter. Um, you know the I'm, uh, I'm going somewhere on Saturday, and I. If I'm going to a restaurant and I know for a while, I I, I already know what I'm ordering at this place. Uh, what do you churro, What do you got going? They have churro waffles, yeah. and I am excited. <laughs> churro waffles. Hey guys, there's there's Rudy. The good, the good boy. Churro waffles. What's churro waffles? I don't I I don't know, uh, but I'm excited to find out. Big Oh. Yeah, hey guys, special guest star, hi, hi. Mama Dog, Mama Dog. We might have lost BC for a second. Switching over to Wi-Fi. Yup, there it is. Whammo. We got a special guest star. Look at this. Hey, how's everybody? Good, Mama Dog, <laughs> Mama Dog. Mama Dog was on vacation with Mad Dog while you were bachelor lifing it up. I know. I know. I, me alone with my own thoughts for three, four days is no place to be. I was going to say, it could be dangerous. Yeah, it's not It's not good to be in the head. Yeah. So, but I want to hear more about these churro waffles. Yeah, what is that? I'll uh, I'll have more to report next week. I, I haven't tried them yet, but we'll, we'll find out on Saturday. T, uh, Robert Steele donated $2 and asked, what do you teed off slash teed up about at the moment? At the moment? You got to give us something. Yeah, I'm teed up uh, I'm teed up about this weekend. It's going to be a good weekend. Going to uh, St. John's Yukon on Saturday. Then to, then to brunch with churro waffles. Um, Sunday, playing basketball. Uh, balls are playing this weekend. I'm not as excited about that anymore because they kind of suck. But uh, it's, it's going to be a good weekend. I'm, Thursday night, Thursday night's such a perfect time to do this because going into Friday, it's like weekend eve. It's just it's just good vibes. That's what I'm that's what I'm teed up about. <clears throat> Did you guys get after it last weekend at all? Define get after it. Oh, cocktails, yeah. beverages. I'm trying to think what I did last weekend. Oh yeah, I did. I went to um that swingers putting place in the city. It's freaking awesome. I I'll tell you, listen, you're you're giving them free pub. I kind of hate that place. Unless they're a sponsor or a prospective sponsor, then I love it. Yeah. Not enough not enough golf going on at that place. It's too frou frou. When he started with swingers, I thought he was going to like throw in party. I'm like, wow, this is going down the path I didn't expect. I can, since I've completed 99.5%, I can leave. And I kind of want to just leave this patch for all the people who complain about not mowing lines. But I'm not going to do it because I, I'm not going to do that to my customers. But. <laughs> You know who would leave it? A Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, it's good enough. I don't need to quite finish. Yeah. Just come back another day. Somebody else will do it for me. Mm. And there we go, boys. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I haven't really been in it the past 20 minutes. Well, you got your Christmas come early. Yeah. Have you decided where you're going to get your tattoo? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, you, got a you got a tattoo guy out in uh, Taba? I, I, we'll bring one in, personal. Love it. Just I put a it. little small one, maybe a little something on you know your back or something. Yeah. All right, we could, we could work on that. People only see it when you go to the beat, right? Yeah, I agree. All right, boys. That's uh That's it. Big did, how much did we make tonight? Three hundred forty dollars. I did incur seventeen dollars in fines, which isn't good, but most of that came from 
short period when I was unwittingly uh, cutting at the wrong height. So yeah. other than that, uh, that was that's a good job. We'll take 340 every time we can get it. Listen, at the end of the day, it's a big gain for us. We're still on the hunt for the Toro. I think I think by episode 10, we might have it. 10? Let me, let me see how much it is. It's going to take us longer than that. How much is it? Think about if we Oh, average. no. Uh, yeah, no, if we average... No, it might be a little bit. It might be a we, little bit. We could get it in uh, like 13 more. Yeah, what would you say the average? What would you say the average you make on a long? Three to 500. Yeah, let's just say it's average is 400. Yeah. We can get it in like 13 more episodes. Yep. All right. We just got to keep grinding. That's it. And then we're cooking with gas. Yeah, and we'll do a special um, a special stream with the DLC with the Dino stream. Yeah. But until All right. Then, well, uh, PC, you know, thank you for stopping by, even though you were uh, on the way home. We appreciate it. Absolutely, guys. It's always fun to hang out for a little while. We got to get some, some hard dates around the Catawba Open. Yep. Yeah, we're going to work on that next week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push hard to get the whole crew out there. Also, everybody, make sure to get the merch. You got about uh, four. What is it? Four hours left, or five hours left until they? Yeah, uh, buy the shirts. Five yeah. hours left until the shirts go away forever. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. I mean, you got to get. You got to be part of history. Absolutely. All from, right. From big everybody, thank you for joining. Uh, we'll be back next week. Later, guys. Take care, guys. See ya.